ہوتی ہے
he, with his money, built um, a guest house. And he and his wife lived on the second floor of the guest house. And the main floor was set aside for people that were hard or down on their luck and for the homeless, as well as for guests and visitors. And they would recite together the divine office every day. And they would invite their guests to join them. This is how he lived. Living this way, eventually he was elected as Bishop of Nola in Campania, and there he gave away uh, whatever was left of his fortune to the poor. Um, all, he was different from all the other great saint bishops of that uh, time, saint, saint Augustine, for example, or all the great controversialists of that time, Saint Jerome. But they all loved him and respected him, and they would say, you've got to go to Nola, you've got to get to know Bishop Paulinus. He's the man because he so exemplifies so many of the virtues of our blessed Lord, especially this love for retirement, prayer, and solitude, without which it's impossible to have a decent uh, Christian life. His last uh, deeds as bishop were providing 50, um, 50 gold coins for clothing for the poor. He had promised to pay for someone to get clothing from family, and this was during the barbarian invasions when everything was all upset and turned upside down. And they said they, the bill arrived, and one of the priests said to him, well, now your excellency, how are we going to pay this bill? And he was on his deathbed. And he said, don't worry, God will provide. And a few minutes later, a messenger arrived with exactly the, the amount of money that he needed to pay the bill. And then it was towards evening on this day, uh, and the 22nd of June, and uh, uh, they were lighting the, the lamps for Vespers. And his last words were from the psalm that was used back then for the Vesper service, for I will return in Christo Mail. I have lit a lamp for my anointed. And then he died. A wonderful saint, a saint of universal charity and, and a saint of true detachment from the goods of this world. I read about him earlier today, as um, on Mondays I, I dedicate some of my time to reading over or proofing the chapters of Father Chicada's new book on the new Mass which is meant to be sort of a definitive study. And today I came across the name of St. Paulinus because the prayer of St. Paulinus and the co or the collect in his mass is cited by Father Chicada as a typical example of what the modernists did when they wrote their new mass. That is to say that they cut out any reference to what they call negative theology. So in the true collect, we pray that by his intercession may we be enabled to despise the things of earth and desire only such as are heavenly. Well, that would be too much for modern man to bear. So that phrase was cut out of the prayer of St. Paulina, the heresy of the Novus Ordo and all of its works. But if you want a true sacred heart saint, go to St. Paulina. And a true saint who shows you how much we should love uh, and live with and pray through a devotion to the saints, go to St. Paulina. And if you want to learn how to despise whatever you have, it's not much in comparison with a man like this, in the way of earthly goods, go to St. Paulinus. St. Paulinus of Nola, pray for us. God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.